You're listening to Destination University. If you are a college-bound teen or a champion of one, you are exactly where you're supposed to be. Welcome to episode number 88. Taking community service to the next level. And holy smokes, I have been wanting to have this conversation with an expert for years, literally. And so I'm so excited to get this going. Now, you should know that there are 3,600 seconds in one hour. So can you give one hour to make a difference? That's the very question that Carol Grace has for you. She is the founder of Give 3600, and we are going to dive in today on how to really take your altruistic intuitions to the next level. So if you want the insider scoop for community service, this show is definitely for you. So hello, everyone. I'm your host, Dr. Cynthia Colon, founder of Dream College Academy and College Essay Bootcamp. Welcome to Destination University, where college dreams really do come true. Welcome, Carol. How are you doing today? Let me unmute you. Sorry about that. Go ahead and unmute. Yeah, there you go. How are you doing today, Carol? No worries. Thanks so much for having me today. Any day I can talk about volunteering, giving back to others is a great day. I truly appreciate it. I completely agree. And, um, you know, I love, I love any opportunity we can to pass on this message to teenagers about how to get started early and giving back. So I'm excited to have you. So thanks for sharing your time with us today. Um, listeners, as you know, I always say, get out your pen and paper. If you're old school like me, I have my pen and paper. It's always going to be golden nugget, nuggets that Carol will, will share with us today. So be, be sure that you are ready to take down some notes. So um, there's much to get to, but before we dive into all things community service, our listeners love to know our guest story. Like, what is your story? What was your own uh, college journey? And what were some pivotal moments in high school and or in college when you really uh, discovered your own calling? So my calling actually came from my father and my grandfather. They were both very quiet men who taught me many lessons, especially through just quiet examples of giving, of just doing things for others. My grandfather was the kind of man he could fix anything that needed to be fixing. And he did that for everybody he could. He never asked for anything in return. Quite often I would go over and visit him. My grandmother said, oh, he's down the street fixing this for Mary or Joe or whatever. But he never asked for anything in return. So just that quiet example of him giving back to others. My father actually grew up during the Depression where childhood hunger and being hungry was a huge thing and greatly impacted him throughout his whole entire life. So he was always extremely compassionate to people that had any kind of hunger issues. And taught us the importance of not wasting food, realizing that people did not have, you know, the things that we, we had. So I grew up with those two quiet examples, and I decided when I had sons, which I do have two sons are now grown, to pass on that family legacy to, to my sons. So we went on many family volunteer adventures together. I drugged them sometimes when they did not want to go with me, but they went along anyhow. In fact, my youngest son, um, he actually wrote his college essay about all of the escapades we did during volunteering. He did a little uh, computer, he actually did a video college essay uh, with little fees from all of the various opportunities that we did along the way during his four years in high school. So with those two men in mind, I decided to pass on my family legacy and I decided since uh, volunteering was such a passion of mine, I decided to create Give 3600 about a year and a half ago. Um, like you said, it's called Give 3600 because there's 3600 seconds in every hour. And we believe that one hour of giving can make a difference in someone's life. Sometimes we do not know what that hour is, but um, quite in, invariably there is a difference being made. So um, I have various programs that we have within Give 3600. And today I believe we're here to talk about the College Application Spotlight Program. Yes, absolutely. Now, okay, I want to pause for a second because I love that you use the term family legacy and when that is what you're passing down and you took those lessons from when you were young and what you saw um, your father do and just sort of um, out of just being kind. Um, so passing on this family legacy and then you passed it on to your two sons 
And uh, did you catch that, listeners? What she said was one of her sons wrote his college essay about all of the escapades they had done. So uh, plenty to do and obviously lots of lessons learned, but um, I'm sure he, he wrote about those. Now, because you're the expert in this and you've been doing this for, for a long time, not necessarily just with the foundation, but in general, this is your life history. So describe for, you know, our, the parents who are listening and the students who are listening, you know, from when I work with teens, there are a lot of students and families that ask about how to do more community service and what they can do. And they often think that's like the way into getting into their dream college. But I, I often want to share with them to take a step back and really understand that there are many more benefits other than beefing up your resume um, with community service. So share some of that with our audience about, about that. Okay, so community service and giving back to others, it has many, many benefits. Physical benefits, because if you're out doing something, maybe you're out doing a beach cleanup or maybe you're out uh, clearing up some, some trail or something, you get the physical benefits of that. Packing food, there's some physical benefits of that. There's many mental um, benefits of giving back to others. Um, you meet new people. You can grow confident. Confidence, your confidence level goes up. You learn great leadership skills, uh, great communication skills. So from that aspect, volunteering, and just the idea that you're doing something above and beyond yourself, helping somebody else out, can have uh, many benefits for you, whether it be physically, emotionally, and or spiritually, all at the same point in time. And obviously, there's other benefits from a college-bound standpoint. They can write their college essay about some of the escapades that they have in volunteering. Um, a lot of the nonprofits that we're currently uh, dealing with and partnering our students with, they're offering them letters of recommendation that they can use on their college application. When they apply for scholarships, it always looks really good. Um, it's, it builds leadership skills. It maybe perhaps, um, maybe perhaps they'll even find a skill or probably maybe even find a profession that they never even thought about by volunteering. So now, there's so I, many different benefits from that. Yeah, no, I love that you, so again, write this down, um, folks. Physical benefits, mental benefits, meeting new people, leadership, communication, and feeling like you're doing something bigger than yourself. Now, um, maybe we'll get into this a little bit later when we talk about some tales, some specific, um, stories of students that you've been working with, but, um, you know, I often, I mean, all, a lot of these I, I think about myself, but I never thought about the physical benefits. And I know one of the things I did with a group of students was the Habitat for Humanity um, mm -hmm. project and things like that. But really students and families, what I want you to hear more than anything is that community service writing about community service in your college essay is really not necessarily about the service itself, but it actually is actually usually one of these benefits, something that you gained. What did you learn? What's the reason you did it? What's your why? And so it's not really about the pounding of the nails in for Habitat for Humanity or, or building, you know, um, uh, creating a, a new library for a, a nonprofit or something like that. It's really about all of these skills that you learn. So lots of side benefits and I'm going to guess that um, sometimes, you know, the physical, the mental, the leadership can lead a student to discover um, a talent in themselves, which leads down a completely mm -hmm. different road. Right? So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. I agree. Yes. 